think we should get started on our meeting. Uh, the first item on the agenda is uh, personnel. Oh, I gotta read this too, sorry, thank you. <laughs> If you're meeting, open meeting law and videotaped meetings. If your meeting is videotaped, the open meeting law requires you to advise open session meeting attendees as follows. Open session public meetings are subject to being recorded. Your image and voice may be recorded. Per the open meeting law, Mass General Laws, Chapter 30A, Section 20E. There we go. Okay. Um, First item on the agenda is uh, PAFs. Do we have any? We have a couple. Okay. Um, so this is a sad PAF. Um, this is Chief Clark's uh, contract extension, but also last contract extension. So okay. this extends him through the end of January, and that is all. Okay. I have promised him that we won't make him you extend know, his, you know, retirement not retirement into yep. further and not be able to spend time with his granddaughter and he came in as helping the town out right he came in that way right and he, look yep. what happened yep. <laughs> i know and he did tell me well you know if you need me a few weeks in february i said no nope. we will we will work it out i said we have very you capable men on the department have been yep. wonderful and yep. it is your time to enjoy yeah your retirement yep. so we will have, once he is closer, a, okay. a retirement PAF as well. But that's just the one month contract extension okay, through the so end of January. Month. Okay. Um, any others? Yes. Okay. So I have, let's see, Timothy Andre. This is for Andre. the taser training that he received. So as a result, he gets a stipend in the amount of $1,200. That is per the union contract. Wow. Okay. And there's a copy in there of the certificate. Okay, great. Now, so even the per diems get that? He's full time. He's full time. Oh, he is. Oh, okay. I thought it was part-time that was checked off. Okay. Good. Oh, that's great. I didn't know he, t he t was in a full-time position. I think we probably voted that in. And the taser. Yeah. Oh, he may have. Yeah, yeah. Did he? Yeah. That's great. All right. Any others? Yes. Um, these are part-timers that have completed the required bridge academy and as a result they get a step increase per the union contract great okay and that would be for Chantel Cuff yeah. Kenny Janda Mike Barry, Peter Kinnis, and Kevin Colomy. Great. All right. So, any others? Okay. Make a motion that we approve or accept the PAFs as presented. I'll second that, and we can vote on that. I vote aye. Aye. Aye, okay. So these were approved. Aye, aye, aye. And I'll sign off on these. All right. The next item of business is the... Uh, position reviews and advertising. We had that one... We do. So, um, what I put together Great. with Fred. Um, oh shoot! I only printed three. I'm sorry. I you I have mine from the. Oh, you have your. Oh, perfect. Would you pass one all yeah. the way down? Oh, please? I have mine. Oh, you have yours too. Oh, well, aren't you guys good? Good. Um, all right. I brought y'all a copy. This is the highway administrative assistant position. 
which was included in the FY23 budget as a 10 hour per week position with a set rate at $20.88 per hour. What I did was I went through this with Fred. I actually had a highway administrative assistant job description that I worked off of, but then I had to tweak it because there's some cemetery and facility operations rolled in as well. So okay. um, basically the essential functions are pretty straightforward. You're looking at payroll, dealing with um, inquiries from the public, managing the budget, invoices, reconciling department accounts and revenues, preparing memorandum reports, reimbursement requests and documents for state funding on behalf of the superintendent, um, prepare, helping prepare bid documents for supplies and services um, in conjunction with the highway superintendent and the chief procurement officer, completing any insurance forms for accidents or injuries and bringing them to our office, maintaining files, mail, inventory of department vehicles, ordering, supplies, etc. And then of course the other special projects and similar or related work as required, directed, or as the situation dictates. So the educational experience I have down here is a high school diploma or equivalent associate's degree preferred and two years of administrative experience in an office setting or any equivalent and relevant combination of those functions. Familiarity with municipal government operations helpful but not required with a position of that few hours. I don't know that we would get somebody yeah. who is a necessarily a seasoned government right. employee. Yeah. Um, but it'd be great if we did, you never know. Um, and then the rest is pretty much a straightforward kind of knowledge, yeah. skills, and abilities from an administrative assistant position. Nothing really too yeah. unusual there. Well, I read through both, and I thought they looked pretty good. Sue, so did were, you see I, anything? No, I didn't see anything. You got things. Looked like we've been discussing all along for a year and a half. So, and the job posting, posting too, too looked too. okay. Yep. So, um, I'd like to make a motion then for the first. We'll do the job posting. Um, that 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 looked pretty good, and I'd like to make a motion that we approve that. Second. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, and now for the job description, which we, we, we got ahead of time and we'll, we were able to review it, um, I'd like to make a motion that we approve that as well. Second. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, good. So those are approved. Great, thank you very much. Yep. Okay. Fred will be very happy. Oh, good. Well, I hope I hope we can find somebody. That'd be wonderful. I'll work on getting this out as soon as possible. I'll make sure things get in the right pile. The next item on the agenda is uh, town administrator information. Okay. So I know that we were speaking. Oops, did I? Something in there. I should we were speaking um, at our last meeting about these step increases yep. for FY24, and I went back and I did some digging, and I couldn't find, you know, we had discussed folks being here for a year. I couldn't find, I actually read the whole policy manual cover to cover again because I wanted to make sure that everything in there looked okay and that I understood everything in general. And in principle, I do understand the point of wanting to be here for a year before you get a step increase. Um, there is nothing that states it's an explicit requirement in the policy manual, but there are actually two employees that were on this list that had been here a year at the time of their evaluation, which was in November. So 
I would like to have them on that list given that fact and given another review of their evaluations and the justification that was provided for recommending them as an exceeds expectation and for that step increase. The reason being, because it's, if we do it as an FY22 and the folks have to have been here for a year in that fiscal year ending June 30, you could actually have people go almost two years without ever being eligible for a step increase. And you, you know, may have a situation that I think we're in where we've had two employees that I think have done really well and gone above and beyond and deserve that step increase. Mm -hmm. I agree there should be at least a year to evaluate them, you know, to be able to base your evaluation upon. Right. But um, I did check and um, they both came either, it was October, the end of October, very beginning of November last year. So with that in mind, and I also made some of the changes that we had discussed. If you wanna pass those down, sorry. Um, we'll share. Um, so I am making a recommendation here of Basically, these are nine employees that received exceeds expectations and the narrative descriptions in their um, evaluations supported that review or result from their department heads. Um, it basically, if this is approved, the overall budgetary impact would be a total of $8,058.81. It is one step increase or the equivalent of one step increase mm -hmm. for the two department heads that are in here that are not on the salary schedule. Okay. Which actually bears note that I would like at some point to tweak the salary schedule a little and get department heads on that, whether it is adding a category or what have you, I'd like to have everybody on the salary schedule. So yeah, something for, scale. yes. For new hires, at least even right. if it's just there Yeah, we did, we did have too. scales for them, but we just never put, we didn't put them on the job classification. Yeah, way back piece. when it used to be on the classification spreadsheet yep. normally, and then, because it was a s different section, and then they did away with it. Because we did get that from was, the yeah. consultant, and I had done that MMIA thing for three years, the uh, so, compensation <coughs> So survey. I'm thinking that because where we have so many um, minimum wage lines now, because we had talked about yep. it, yep. going through it is that it probably this actual scale probably needs to be reclass re restructured a little yes. bit just because the first yep. three lines are all minimum wage mm -hmm. now. Yep. So. So that's on my kind of future, and hopefully not the too distant future, to-do list. After I get through budget and some procurements that have been lingering. But I do want to take a look at that. I think that's important. Yeah. Okay. So um, basically, you know, as we discussed, the recommendation um, of legal counsel was to provide you a list of the position, the employee, their current step, the proposed step which everybody has just proposed to move one, um, and what that budgetary impact would be. And what I did for you here was I put in their FY23 rate and I annualized it, yep. did the COLA, and then also did yep. what it would be with the right. step increase. So you can see what the difference is between just giving them a COLA mm -hmm. or giving them that step. Yep, okay, great. So in terms of So would it be the seventeen thousand, or just the eight thousand over the budget? Budget, correct? So they were already going up the. Cola. That's right. That's right. Yes. Yep. So yep. it would just be the difference between the cola yep. and that okay. that next step up. That makes total sense. Okay, good. And when I did the math, it came out to, I believe, it, the amount. Actually, I want to look at that. The amount between steps. It was interesting because I was trying to figure out if there was a percentage between the steps and there are. I there think it's, used to be. Yeah, no, I think there still is because we June and I had that it's conversation. Sort of yeah. is, but isn't. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do I have this? I may not have it here. But but basically, what I did was I averaged it all out to yeah. what it came out, Good. and then I used that percentage for the salaries, okay. and it was one. 
1.2%, I think it is, for a step increase. 1.02%, I think it is. Does that sound? Yeah, you're looking at me like I'm crazy. I think that sounds about right. <laughs> sounds good. It could be. Yeah. yeah. June, I think good. it's 1.02. I think it sounds wonderful. Yeah. It's a smaller percentage than the COLA, um, a significantly smaller percentage than the COLA. Right. But I think, too, you know, the conversations we've started to have, and obviously June, being the interim, knows this, you know, even better than I am, and, you know, I'm still learning. But um, you have a number of employees that, um, you know, the as you've discussed, the COLA doesn't make as much of an impact for them as it does for some of the other employees. And you do look at some of the assistants, which the majority of mm -hmm. these are, and me, being able to bring them up to closer to what you would say is a market value, mm -hmm. showing them, um, you know, merit for the work that they've done and hoping to be able to have retention as exactly. a result of that. The retention because they know that there's something that they're working towards, they're doing a good job, right. they've mastered their job and they're being rewarded for it as yeah. a result. I think that's important to make sure that we do. Okay. So. Right. Any questions? Anything you want? Just my normal question. Sure. Is, okay, now you take this into FinCom. Mm -hmm. And FinCom says, Nope, <laughs> not all that. Okay. Can we, as personnel, say these are our five people that we want at the top? I hope they all get it. I'm not saying I don't want anybody to get it. I right. hope all eight right. get this, right. and I hope it's approved. But if it doesn't, it always seems like, you know, the same people get knocked out. So what I would do is I'd incorporate this, and tell me if this is the way it's normally done, this gets incorporated into my overall budget recommendation mm -hmm. to the FinCom. It's not broken out person by person per se. Um, so they'd be voting on that department budget as a whole. Okay. In the past, it's gone to the select board. Yeah, and it ultimately does go to the okay. select board as well. Okay. So, and the select board are the ones that put it on the warrant. I was going to say, select board usually it goes to first. Yeah, it goes and to select it goes to finance. Oh, it goes that way? Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm yeah. used to having that No, other that's way. okay. <laughs> um, because finance, it's the finance committee's report that goes to the, that gets voted on. Got it. Got it. So we always had, at every town is different, we always had the select board's right. budget went to town meeting. Okay. So it was different. And so the FinCom like, would vote on the select board's budget. <laughs> my question okay. So we did it the it's opposite kind of way. Combined. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It has been combined. All right. And my question would be the same as you go into the select board and they say, no. So I'm great at crying. I mean, does that, I don't want no, you, I'm just No, kidding. I don't want to cry. <laughs> I, I, totally I mean, I think it's, you know. I think these nine people deserve this, you know, this step. Well, how about this? I, you know, I would go to bat for this if it's your recommendation as well, it, as it is mine. Um, if FinCom and or Select Board or Select Board's next um, say no, I would ask that then it be returned back to the Personnel Committee for further discussion. Okay. Does I that just, work? Yes. Because there's just, I mean. Yep. Yeah. I look at this and there's four on here right now that I'm like, no, they're on the top of the list. Okay. But it can be done separately if you needed to. Okay. Okay. No, because right. it has. In, so in the it hasn't been done that way. It's just okay. my, yeah. my little thing. Okay. And yeah, everywhere it's not is an all or none. Different. Yeah. So I, and I'm used well, to just incorporating it into the budget. So no, no, that's fine. It's it's all it's always different. So that's good. that's okay. good to know that that might be an issue, and we have a path for okay. you know handling it if that's the Great. way things Great. Okay. move. Good. So thank I, you. Based on that, I'd like to make a motion that we approve the recommendations of the town administrator for the uh, uh, market slash merit slash uh, recognition increases. Second. <laughs> okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you very much. That is, um, other than the policy manual, that is all I have. I think this policy manual is amazing. <laughs> I read it. I it looks so cool, left. doesn't it? Look yeah, so, cool. so it's beautiful. <laughs> Yay, it has a real table of contents in it now. So. 
there are three sections I'd like to call your attention okay. to. Okay, can I just oh. do one thing real quick? I forgot to bring up the minutes, and I worked so hard to get those two sets oh, done. I make a motion that we approve the minutes as written okay. for both dates. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank Ooh. you very much. I, I got them done. I was like, <laughs> yes. Do not forget to <laughs> exactly. do Exactly. So, okay, great. Thank you. Sorry, no, Kristen. No, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean Thank to you. overstep. Um, so there's three, so basically what I did was a lot of organization, formatting, there were some duplicate sentences I removed, some things I sh just moved within their paragraph a little bit because sometimes it said the same thing at the beginning and then in the middle. So hopefully we've gotten rid of that. Nothing substantive except for in three areas. Um, the first is on page 14. Is everybody got the same 14? Yeah, we do this time. Oh my word. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. No, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> I did it so, when you weren't here the other day, I did the same thing. Like, we all have who's, the same who's, pages. Who's it was really, really, sorry, really sweet. I was like, oh, yay. <laughs> it's nice when the, the work pays off. Um, so at the bottom of page 14, one thing I added because it is a cost saving measure um, to the town, and yep. I didn't know how you felt about it is um, the town at their discretion may accept a written certification from, this is regarding uh, pre-placement medical exams, yeah. written certification from the applicant's primary care physician stating they are fit to perform the duties of the position with or without reasonable, reasonable accommodations if they have had a physical in the past six months. That's becoming more and more yeah. the standard practice, yeah. especially as these places are so yeah. hard to schedule and get a hold right. of and their prices just go through. Yeah, I think orders. that's good. Would you have to add in there based on the job description or is that just assumed where it says duties for the position? Oh, you Do mean, we have to say essential functions or does that matter to perform the essential functions? I can say rather than duties, say essential functions. Sure. I'm sorry, I don't mean to bring more no, no, stuff. No, because no, that was my thing too is that because we want to make sure that they're not just giving us a flat one, it has to be based on the job description. Essential I thought they had functions. to bring the job. I thought. In and a lot of places, send, they bring yep. the job description yep. with them. But yep. if it's been within six months, if they can at least fax or send the doctor, this is the job description. This is the job description. Yep. Yeah. So if I say, um, stating they are fit to perform the essential functions as listed in the job description, mm -hmm. does that cover it? Yep. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Yes, that could save a lot of money. It, it really can, and hassle for both us and them and the scheduling. Well, we've had some people that. You know, a library page, or we've had a lot of people right now though that we're having a hard time getting in. And you can't get schedules. No, you can't. And a lot of the places, like the one that we used to use in my previous community, just shut down during COVID because no, they had no one right. hiring. And yeah, yeah, ours were just shorthanded. So there was no yeah, they weren't calling people back. Yeah. So, all right. So that was the only change there. Okay. And then um, page 27, I found the education and training section, and believe it or not, it was in there the whole time. It was. <laughs> it oh, was, and I don't know how we missed it. It was probably lined out and changed and lined I, I think so. But the, the good news is it gave me a chance to really go and do a super thorough check of everything. So, um Basically, what I just said was I added that the town will pay for certain training and education programs. Oh, 27. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, 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 you were excited. I thought you were like, I'm on the wrong page. No, I didn't know you were. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so nice to ask for a I page know. and get it. <laughs> <laughs> we're all there. Yay. So I just said, um, you know, the vast majority of skill development will take place on the job. To complement your work experience, the town will provide internal training sessions as the department supervisors seem necessary. We'll also sponsor employees to attend occasional off-site training. Yep. And then the second paragraph pertains more to the education that benefit eligible employees who have worked for the town for at least one year, are eligible for reimbursement for tuition, registration fees, books and work-related courses, um, and certific certifications that serve to improve their knowledge and skills and increase their performance with the town. Approval for a particular course must be requested prior to enrollment to be eligible for the reimbursement and must have the approval of the department supervisor and the town administrator. Approval is subject to available funds. And the town may require the employee to sign an agreement stating that should the employee leave the town before two years from payment, they will reimburse the town for 50% of the cost of the program. Perfect. 
Okay. Do you want to stick with that? Because I think we have some agreements that are different than that right now. Oh, we do? I didn't know we had agreements now. Yeah. Because we had talked about 50% 50, 50 at the last some, meeting. Yeah, I think it's based on how long they stay as to what the percentage was. Are those in union agreements, though? No, but the union employees. So this wouldn't apply to union. This would just be non-union. Okay. So I think we're okay there. But we could change it to match union if that's... What do you think? What do you think? What did the union... Well, because this was that question I think that I had given you guys is that are we doing it on everything? Because like on license renewals. This doesn't or speak to license renewals. <coughs> well, that's why no, I but it is May. They have to take certain trainings. This is May and it has to be approved. So it gives Kristen and the department supervisor the authority, the authority the to, heads say, up to say, okay, but going to have to do a 50 percent agreement or whatever and so it doesn't necessarily apply to everything um you know i mean i think we have to be careful with certifications because some of them we pay for but some of them we don't right like if we we talked about um like cdl licensure that can cost right thousands of dollars it'd be right. great if we had that funding we but but we have we oh we have before mm -hmm. oh okay that's why i'm saying is that just but to make sure that we can because that was part of um one of the things and we had to like do a percentage or whatever okay yeah you know i mean like if the license is good for a year yep you have here too i mean you can keep it this way i'm just saying thinking of stuff that i've had to deal with yep and it's one of those well if you had to take a course so that you have your license it yeah. expires in a year and then you take it and then you leave right that was something that had come up and it was okay so do we bill it for you know by the month do we like ask for a or do we just eat it should we leave it at one year or is that still problematic because some are less than a year right so we could prorate it for less than a year like so say it was twelve hundred dollars mm. and they stayed six months We'd only require them to pay us six hundred dollars back, so it'd be basically uh, six months time, you know, times a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. That's totally up to if you guys want to say two years. That's that, you know. Or but we I'd like to see. See, I'd like to see it a little bit. More. Even though I, I mean, everything's got to be based on fairness, though. Right, too, you right. can't do it by the person. But I'm just yeah. thinking. Like, is it worth us sitting down and calculating a $50 course? Do you know what I mean? And I think that's what I was running into on a couple of them because we never used to have this quick turnaround. All right, so what if we did um, may require the employee to sign an agreement that they will reimburse the town for a portion of the cost of the program as determined by the town administrator? Mm-hmm. And do you want to add the department head into the department well, it head? It could be a department head also, though. It, this could be yep. a department head. But I, I still just wonder if you want to add the department head in there, just two opinions. Yep. Always seem to make the argument better. I, I still think it needs to say something about Prorated. that you have to stay at least one year. So but do we want to change the two to one? June, what is it, what's it been in the past? Have you guys kept your, has everything been consistent or not consistent? The reason we wanted to put that in there was for the consistency and so that you'd have a backup and yeah, you'd have right. a backup saying. I was trying to think on who the last people were that had it and then we just had signed agreements. Um, I think it was with the Bridge Academy. So, okay. But it, it was like prorated based on you know six months 12 oh months. i see you know what, you, what i mean I so it saying, was like yeah. okay well if you leave within six months you pay 75 us uh, 75 percent back if you leave in a year then you pay 50 percent if it's well, that's, you know what i mean it's yeah that that, well that's similar but that's a bigger yeah cost to the town right. versus I mean, so maybe we should keep it the two years Or, before or could we make it even more general if this is where you're going, June? Like the town may require the employee to sign an agreement stating they um, 
are required to reimburse the town for a portion of the cost as determined. Like take out the years completely. Is that where you're, or what do you what do you think? Well, I I kind of like to see it based on like it could be a prorated thing too. But yep. the other thing is too is we got to make sure that it's written enough so that it's fairly treated. Mm -hmm. Right. Not that you know you can just decide what you want to do based on whether you like a person or not. Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? And Just so that way there, the employee is also, and they know what to expect, not that it's going to be a surprise when they leave that, you know, now they've got to pay $900 back to the town. Right. Yep. Yeah. Um, hmm. So I, before two years from payment, they will reimburse the town uh, signing or agreement. Or do you just do prorated if, if right. employment is terminated? within two years or something like that. Yeah, something like that. They will reimburse the town for 50% of the cost. So I don't think it should say reimburse the town for 50% of the cost. No, I would just leave it as, as prorated if they leave before two years. Because that way there you can yep. do it prorated. Yep. that's right, yeah. Perfect. Because they could leave a month into the program and they could say, well, I did leave before two years, but I only have to reimburse for 50%. Right, right. So that's you why. Know, I stayed for a month. Right, then, you know, I'll right, right. That's awful. Yeah. Anybody no, but it's happening. I know, <laughs> I've dealt with, yes, I know. <laughs> okay. Thank I you. I rework that, absolutely. Sorry. No, please don't apologize. This is very helpful. Um, and then the last one is our good friend over at FMLA. <laughs> uh, page 63. So let's see what I did here. How long before we start to smile when we do that? <laughs> I know, huh? <laughs> uh, so first page, no changes. You put or in page the rolling, rather. rolling twelve month period. Yeah, that great. was in there. Yep. Yep. Um, and then okay, so yeah, it was at the top of sixty four. We were trying to figure out how to word the paid versus unpaid. Yep. Um, so the way I came up is that it's unpaid unless the employee chooses to use their accrued paid leave. They have the right to use any amount of accrued leave, unpaid leave, um, I'm sorry, unused paid leave for any part of the 12 week period for their own. This yep. is now just talking about their yep. own serious health condition. And I added in vacation, sick, personal comp. Yep. Um, however, accrued paid leave may not be used to extend FMLA leave, mm -hmm. um, and then if using sick leave to care for a serious, seriously ill family member, employees may only use up to a maximum of 50% of the sick leave that is allocated to them in a 12-month period. And I thought giving an example yeah. of that, because we struggled a bit. Yeah. So for example, if an employee receives 12 sick days in a 12-month period, they may use a maximum of six, six sick days <laughs> to care for a seriously ill family member. Other leave, vacation, personal, and comp may be used in full. Okay, so. that's perfect. Does Do you work? like that, Sue? Are you okay with it? I think this is fantastic. It is. I'm it's great. Smile. That's what perfect. Was it that you had to use vacation, have your vacation time before. That's, um, what that's, that's the paternity. I'll say I thought it was here too. No. So if you go to parental leave. Um, which page is that? Uh, page 67. Yep. The town requires employees to take 50% of any accrued vacation leave at the beginning of parental leave granted pursuant to the act. So parental leave is a little tricky too because parental and sick, I had to look this up, They parental and FMLA run concurrently. Mm -hmm. So you can't get 12 weeks and eight weeks. Right. It's eight weeks, and then you could have another four if you needed some additional leave or intermittent leave, but mm -hmm. it's maximum of 12 yep. um, that falls within FMLA. So you can use a little bit of both. You can use all of each, but it's no more than 12 total. Yep. So was the intent of this to make people use their vacation time first two because I didn't see that in here. I just saw that in the, the parental leave part. 
to page 64. That second paragraph, is that what you're thinking that sentence? Because she said maximum of 50%. That's where the 50 Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about the, the sick time. It was um, because it wasn't for personal, it was for a family member. They thought you had to use half. 50% of your vacation time before you could use long term. Oh, okay. So we talked about it because it was unclear. We went back, we went round and round about this a few times. And mm. I thought the intent was um, you didn't want the employee to use up all their own sick time in case they were sick themselves. Right, right. So they weren't. No, I get the sick. Okay. I'm saying vacation time. You have to use up 50% of your vacation time before you can use your long term. If so it's when does long term kick in? Would be after you've used half of your vacation time. So where is that in here? Wait. I don't know if it's in here. I'm, I, this is I don't remember seeing that. The attorney. Okay. That piece I don't remember. Did that? Did I not get that? I don't know. Change. Um, but I thought it had to do with the family medical leave. And that if it was for the person, they could use their long term. But if it was for a family member, they had to use part of their vacation time because it came up recently again. But I don't remember, maybe it was because it was child Let's versus. I mean, I, I'll i be honest, I'm used to FMLA being that they can take any leave or they can take unpaid. So this is unique to me, but. Well, are we having the attorney review this or, or not? I know legal fees are going crazy. Um, like we don't have to. But. No, I, I mean, nothing that we've really changed is substantive that I'm, I mean, I don't know if they've looked at it before. I don't, no, I, don't I, think so. I mean, I think this is great. And I mean, so I would say leave it. I'll, I'd say I'll double check. It. Yeah, and I don't see, see anything that. in here. I see vacation. Uh, I see personal leave. I see sick leave. No, it was under the family medical leave. Yeah, I can, hmm. I remember June. And I don't remember okay. exactly, but I thought it had, if they chose to just use their sick leave. I have this. Um, it would be without pay, but if they wanted to use the long term for them to be able to do that, they had to use 50% of their vacation. So before they can kick in to their, quote, sick leave. There it is. Yes. So, sorry, I wrote all of this, yeah, but fine. so the only thing that I saw in here was um, family sick leave, that maximum five days of the employee's total annual sick, um, sick leave. So we talked no. mean because five days is different for <coughs> some, different. right. So that's how we came up with the 50%. But it, I don't know if that got taken out at some point. I don't remember seeing it. This is the only part I remember seeing, but if you want to see what you have and let me yeah, know we can we can take a look at it yeah why don't i do that but yeah. i mean this is fine it's yeah. just that for some reason i was thinking that's what legal counsel told us we had to do okay yeah take a I, look at it yeah me. i do remember a discussion but i don't remember it being but i don't remember it oh because you have it on that the parental i don't know if that's but i don't remember that terminology when we were dealing with it as a parental thing it was but i don't know well then, if there's only one thing to check on, I think we can have a party. <laughs> I'd love to have a party. Mm. I'm a terrible party planner, but I love parties. <laughs> we can do this. We can have a party. Yeah, I'll double check on it. Okay. So I typically, so if it just hasn't been reviewed by legal, not that I want to cost any right. legal fees, but I'm hesitant to implement a <coughs> policy manual without running it by legal because you don't want to do anything illegal. Right. And I can tell you, um, I ran into this before where the uh, department put a departmental policy in place that ended up being inadvertently discriminatory and it didn't get run through legal counsel and nobody caught it. And it was about um, headwear and that's becoming a major issue now. 
um, and it's uh, it, it prompted a lawsuit. So I, I'm a little bit nervous on that. I guess I was thinking this had already gone through a yeah, full legal it. review. No, not so. yet. We were trying to wait to get get parts of it done. Well, it okay. has to go to select board first. It does, but usually. Um, I wouldn't have the select board adopt it until it had been reviewed by legal in case there's any changes mm -hmm. that they say are like not yep. legal. Right. I think okay. they should look at it first. Okay. Then we'll, or maybe unofficially have them look at it, see if they have any questions. That way they're yep. oh, a yeah. major. Okay. Do that. Sure. I did have it tentatively on for Monday night for their meeting. Um, so I can have them take a look at it Great. and say it still needs to go through legal, but okay. we'd like your input. I okay, I think that's great. I think that's a really good idea. Yeah. Okay. Because it we would really stink if then you got to go back and redo a whole. The, sorry, the hall light just like turned on right there, and I thought there was somebody walking towards me. There probably it is. It could be. Goes to Mrs. Probably. Plastridge. Hey, she's trying to sneak out. Mrs. Mrs. Plastridge. It was just really, it was really right. bright, and really all of a sudden, and I went, "Oh my gosh, there's somebody over there." Oh no, I think God. you should give it. You know, have select board review it. Okay. Because there could be. Or even a question that they may have, or sure, something we need to like vet a little bit more, yeah. or something we need yeah. to add, or what have you, and then if it needs to come back here, it great. does, and then then it can go to legal. Okay, yeah. great. You're gonna have to work hard to make it come back here. Oh, wow. I really hope it's so. Do I have your blessing to yes. send it to the? I make a motion. Board? Yep. That and with with also just looking into the one yep. question that June yep. has. I make a motion that personnel. <laughs> With great celebration, yeah. <laughs> pass on the new policies, employee, po employee policy manual, with the um, the amendment, if I have to say it, or that June will look into one yeah. one fact to pass on to our town administrator. And I said that really crazy, and I'm tired. We follow. Sorry. I so think Claire can clean that up. Yeah, oh. So the motion is made to pass on with any advised amendments um, to the select board on Monday uh, the input uh, to get their input. So well, that was much better, except for me saying with celebration. No, with celebration. <laughs> yeah. So so all those in favor? Second it. Aye. Okay. Yeah. Great. Oh my word. That's Years. been what, a year and a half. At least. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Entire cool. feels way longer. Thank you no. so much, both of you, for all your work on that. It was huge. You kept us going by feeding us the new revisions after you've typed them in and everything. So that was wonderful. Okay. So. Now hopefully it's just little pieces. <laughs> right. As we go along. Right. And hopefully, hopefully it 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 pulls everything together for employees. Hopefully they'll. I'm fine with it. They have to read it. All right. I did goof. There is one more PAF. Oh, okay. And it's good. the one you've been looking for. Is it? It I, is. It's in my book to ask again. It is. Okay. This is for John Polino. Okay. Um, this is for um, his uh, start date for the restructured yes. lieutenant fire prevention position. Restructured. Thank you. I just wanted you know what? I wonder prevention. if I had it last time and it was stuck in the back because I just fire flipped prevention. to the back and it was in there. Fire prevention. What was it? Fire prevention what? Uh, uh, fire prevention position. Nope. I had okay. it. Okay. Oh, she's saying it wasn't me. So do you want to make Thank a... You. I make a motion you. that oh, we accept that. Yeah. Okay. Presented. Oh. All right, I will second that, and all those Aye. in favor? Aye. All right. There's no weight change. No, Two no, it's just, no the, just no, the start just, date that the position yeah. was restructured. Yeah. Just the yeah. restructuring date. I yeah. just think it's important that it's um, in writing. And he did also approve it through the union. So. And tomorrow, if he wins the lottery and we have to go out and get someone new, we have the new position. Perfect. Okay, and... Um, any other business that you'd like to attend to? I don't have anything else for you this anything evening. Anything you? That was very efficient. I make a motion that we adjourn. Okay. I second that motion. All those in favor? Aye.